It's hot at the port. It's hot at the port. Police everywhere. Are you mad? You are liable. Hey, hey, you don't battle. Do I let them battle? You don't have to. Hey, everywhere is hot. Running, running everywhere. Hey. Hey, you don't battle. It has entered Douala. Hey. Hey, tear gas everywhere. Oh. Tear gas everywhere. Oh. You don't juju. You don't juju. Oh. Animal is picking for a bag. People are confused. Running. Oh. Bamenda come and say, see a Douala. Yeah, yeah, Papa got to. Papa got to. He don't do for pot. Oh, he don't do do for pot. Oh, police everywhere. Oh, civilians running everywhere. Oh, confusion in town. What is that job again? Confusion in town. Hey. Hey, small, small, you don't start for Douala. Oh, Cameroon government, oh, Cameroon government. Yeah, yeah, the country, we're all going to go to the Any man pick you out to confusion on site. Tear gas everywhere. What na water? What na water? Oh, what na water? Ziba, Selen Ziba. What na water? Hello everyone, I'm Babli Jonathan and this is the 6 p.m. Primetime Newscast on Equinox Television live from my headquarters in Cameroon's economic capital, Douala. In our top stories, police officers fire tear guns and bullets at angry protesters in Cameroon's economic capital, Douala. The angry duckers took to the streets demanding for better working conditions and unpaid uh, salaries and the incident left several persons injured and in sports the super eagles of nigeria rekindled hope that president buhari's country may cross to the next stage of the ongoing 2018 fifa world cup in russia the super eagles just defeated iceland 2-0 in their second encounter Stay with us. Thanks for joining me in this edition of the 6 p.m. Primetime Newscast on Equinox Television. We begin with news on the Anglophone uh, crisis. Se serious gunshots were heard last night in Quen, Bamenda 3 uh, subdivision and in other parts of the Northwest Regional Capital and Report. See, gunshots began renting the air in many localities as from 9 p.m. to about 11 p.m. Ambazonian forces reportedly surfaced to put an end or a crackdown on the existing curfew that has restricted movement of persons at night for several months 
point now and some sources hint that a policeman or a police officer has been killed and some of the Amazonian forces neutralized were yet to independently confirm this meantime panic waves spread across the entire city of Baminda last night compelling several inhabitants of the city to remain indoors as a result of the prevailing situation now we take a look at latest news streaming in from Cameroon's upper house of parliament, notably concerning the Anglophone crisis and news streaming in from the upper house of the country's parliament. I see an updated list of soldiers who lost their lives in the ongoing Anglophone crisis in the two English speaking regions, the northwest and southwest regions of Cameroon, has been presented to a Senate members in a plenary sitting that was, of course, earlier today. An updated list of defense and security forces who have been killed in the political unrest in the northwest and southwest regions have been uh, was read out during a plenary sitting of the senate uh, that was earlier today and the reading of the list by the minister uh, delegates at the presidency of the republic in charge of defense joseph betty Yasomo, was a provoking uh, incident at his uh, it provoked a a lot of emotions in the upper house of parliament that was in response to the uh, question in the security on um, the security condition of the northwest and southwest regions of the country and the minister of defense read a long list of 84 military personnel killed in the northwest and southwest regions of the country the minister uh, responding to the question uh, from uh, senators as concerns the man uh, menka incident in uh, Pinin Santa subdivision some weeks ago said with a uh, bravery, uh, courage and professionalism the defense forces of the country are continuously uh, ex exercising their duty in protecting the country's territorial integrity. Minister Joseph Betia Somo also said that the military is doing everything possible to rid the uh, country of uh, to get the country rid of a group of individuals qualified by many government officials as terrorists including the minister of communication and even the prime minister who has qualified the independence of fighters in the northwest and southwest regions of the country as terrorists in the same way, we go over to the southwest region of the country to take a look at the situation over there, notably concerning the uh, Boya uh, Kumba Highway. Passengers in the southwest region have now uh, remained uh, stranded at some uh, motor parks due to a, an astonishing increase in the transport fare provoked by the uh, provoked by the escalating tension in the region and passengers at the mile 17 uh, motor to park are compelled to pay the sum of 5,000 francs yev to travel to Kumba instead of the usual 1,500 francs yev. It should be recalled that that highway was blocked for several days by separatist uh, fighters. I told you earlier that a standoff between some dockers at the Douala Seaport and forces of law and uh, other police officers, notably here in the city of Douala, left many of them injured. They went protesting in front of uh, the entrance, uh, one of the entrances into the seaport, the Douala Seaport, demanding for better working conditions and uh, other uh, issues. They presented their grievances but the police came out in their numbers to uh, quell down the uh, protests. We have details with a reporter who was on the ground. For me, Armstrong, Sander. Workers on the streets manifesting their grievances in one of the entryways into the port of Douala. They are in a standoff with police officers who have been dispatched to disperse and calm them. Life and rubber bullets, police firing tear gas at the striking workers characterize the scene. Some of them wounded. From the entryway to the Douala seaport, the strike action is spreading into Aqua as police continue chasing the demonstrators. They came at a mass to compel the administrators of the Douala seaport 
to improve on their working conditions. Ils sont vraiment aujourd'hui, ils ont compris que rien, rien ne lui vaut plus, à part la mort. Parce que ils sont déjà désespérés. The Dokas have understood that they are worth nothing again apart from dead. We ask for a contract which will determine our minimum wages. We ask for an hour of pay of 2,000 francs and others. Nous avions demandé aussi le remplacement de la carte unique, c'est-à-dire de la première catégorie à la deuxième catégorie à la carte unique qui donne foi à la troisième catégorie. At the first try, Paul Ford, we had 11 points. You see, but they decided to give us six points. Huh? They went to the table, said that they go to sign a, a convention. Inside that convention, we have nothing inside there. You see, but even the convention they have signed, they did not. They don't want to 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 put it in application. You see, now we are tired. Family allowance, okay. contract of uh, um, of work. Of work. Uh, 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 um, salary of ba, uh, uh, base, basic salary, uh, what we call a uh, card unit, unit card, unit card, there are many. We have to have paper rights because now we are feeling bad. Why Joe is not going to the school? Why wife is rolling to her house? We don't have possibility to eat. We don't have possibility to eat. We need to arise, please, we need to arise, because we try to, to we are doing the job, very nice, there is no problem, we are, we are doing the job very well. The national president of Dokas Association, Mr. Mvondi Ebele Jean-Pierre, said they have a total of 10 points. The Dokas said they have consulted all concerned authorities from the port to the ministries in Yaoundé, but have not received any positive response this far. This is why the Dokas have opted for this demonstration today, which they qualify as peaceful. The demonstrators rather met with a repressive reaction from the authorities. <laughs> authorities who came to the scene were unable to solve the problem. So we are waiting to see the next steps taken by the authorities. But as for the president, they will continue to press on until their rights are respected. Ça c'est la lettre que j'écris au président de la République. As an excellent Monsieur Paul Biya. The president is actually tense. I need to put on my mask because tear gas thrown today is not really easy. We approached Jipak to get their own side of the story, but the gate was blocked for journalists. And the country's Minister of Transport, Masina Nkale Bibehe, has instructed authorities at the Douala Seaport to create a platform for permanent consultation and dialogue between the administration of that sea transport, a maritime transport institution, and its workers. The minister was speaking during a working visit to the Douala Seaport today, and during that meeting, he equally told uh, authorities of the Douala Seaport to work hard to modernize the services of that seaport. We shall be bringing to you images and details of the minister's uh, visit to the Dweller Seaport today in our subsequent news editions. On to something else, the cultivation, sale and consumption of Indian hemp remains a major problem in the Republic of Cameroon, even though it is prohibited by the law and two teenagers alongside two adults have been caught transporting the illegal product they had been producing it and selling in Bafang in the west region of the country. Franklin Mwabi has more. Four persons have been caught with marijuana in Bafang subdivision of the west region. Amongst the four, two Mboro teenagers, Yusufa Hassa and Yahoma, aged 16 and 14 years respectively, were caught by the forces of law and order traveling with a bag of drugs in Bana quarter of Bafan. The Cameroon tell us that he saw two young boys uh, traveling with a bag inside the bag. The, he saw a bad thing called drugs. So we went in Bana Kota, Bafanye, arrest the two young men, Bororo, 14 and 16 years. 
when the teenagers were questioned where they got the drugs they confessed to have bought the drugs from a certain etemba toma and his friend dachoa who are aged 63 and 61 years respectively who cultivate the wheat in their homes Paul Itembe Toma is the man who used to sell them the drugs. We went to the to Monk Quarter and arrest the park. When we reached there, we we meet, we see the uh, Itembe and Dachua uh, with the drugs. The, hands. the Commissioner of Police for Bafang Subdivision, Bizarra Fandai, says The police is not a witch, but in charge of verifying information and taking the right actions to bring justice in cases like this. The Commissioner further beckoned on the population of Bafang to work in collaboration with the forces of law and order. In the report coming up next, we take a look at the ugly face of underdevelopment affecting several parts of Cameroon, especially the hinterlands. A case in point in this newscast is the Matuke uh, locality. It is in the Mongo Division, littoral region of the Republic of Cameroon, where many roads, many of the roads running across the municipality are now in an advanced state of dilapidation. Inosenazi reports. This is one of the craters which, according to the population, have become lakes in the middle of this road stretch linking Matuke, Pendamboko, and Koto in Banga subdivision, Mungo division of the littoral region. La commune de Mbanga, et nous impose l'impôt libératoire. The Mbanga Council has failed to satisfy the desires of the people. We pay taxes, but good services are not given us. For six years now, roads have not been rehabilitated. We have decided to engage in community labor to render the roads accessible. The poor community relies on generators for electricity, boreholes for water which they drink and cook with. At times the boreholes run dry. Others say council authorities have been making barren promises to fix roads provide electricity and other social amenities. Inhabitants of this locality rely mostly on agriculture with a lot of farm produce but no transportation means to markets. They also rely on cash crop like coffee. 